Alrighty, this is me trying to cut my hair off. I, uh, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, well, first of all, I'm making a video because why not? <laughs> if it turns out really bad, then hey, there's that. Uh, secondly, the reason why I'm actually cutting my hair and cutting it short, short, short is because one, I am in menopause and I'm hot, like hot all the time. Like not just a little bit hot, but hot. Like when you have all your parts removed and you go into medical menopause, it jacks your body up. So I'm hot. And I have been surviving um, the last few years of being in pre-menopause before I had my surgery um, by just shaving the bottom part of my hair. If you can see it in the mirror back there, that's been, I'll shave it literally all the way to the skin and then let it grow back. One of the ways that I keep myself cool is I actually use this like a, it's like a roller that has some essential oils and stuff and peppermint and everything and I'll put that on my neck and that'll keep me cool. There's a good tip for those of you in menopause, but this just isn't enough. So I'm thinking that I thought about for a long time, you know, shaving it up through here, but I didn't want to look like a boy and I have a very wide jaw. So when I smile, it's really big. I'm kind of really narrow through my temples. It's even worse when I take my glasses off. I can't see anything. See, look at the old lady eyes. So what happens? 46 years old. Let's just hide them with the glasses. Oh, boom. So much better. <laughs> anyway, so I have been thinking about um, shaving just this 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 part for years and, and everything like that. But just, I don't know. I've heard it was hellacious to grow it back. But I didn't really care at this point because I'm just hot. So one thing is that I used to wear my hair pulled up even when it was longer and I would pull it really tight everywhere and I have this like kind of pompadour thing going in the front which is really cute so if that looks cute then why not just shave the sides and figure that out so I haven't figured out yet if I am just going to shave the sides to kind of match the back and have it be kind of this length if I'm going to go shorter um and leave it longer I mean because I could still like I could slick these sides back and I could give myself a good little poof on the top or something like that and then it elongates my face and doesn't make my jowls look so big. One thing I can't do is I cannot cut my hair that uh, uh like a jawline because it makes my face look even fatter. So at the very least I'm going to be cutting slash shaving the sides and up through the back and then I haven't decided if I'm going to um leave this. I mean it's pretty long. If I'm gonna leave it that long and that way I can do something with it or what because this is also this is the way I wear my hair you know on church on Sunday or something so why not just cut it just I don't really serious so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up this part and make it the same length so I have the camera in front of me I have a mirror behind me and then if you can see it over here I actually have um, a closet door that's right here so I'll be use, utilizing that as well and just doing the best that I can. And let me just say this. I'm not a hairdresser. I've cut my boy's hair from the time they were born. They've had like two public hair, professional haircuts. Um, we don't know anything fancy. And so I've been doing their haircuts. Um, I cut Carolyn's hair, but again, it's pretty not fancy or anything like that. But I don't know how to do like super, super professional haircuts. So this is just me saying, who cares? I'm 46 years old and... It's just time to get rid of some hair. So let's see. So I'm going to pin it up. I'm going to put this on pause. We'll come right back. Okay. Okay. So I have this top part pulled up that took me longer than I'd like to admit. So every video that I've seen online, like no one's wearing glasses. And if they're wearing glasses, they're probably not wearing trifocals. So let me just tell you the problems I ran into as I was trying to pull this up. One, it wasn't the hardest thing. Um, used as this little thing, but one, I'll tell you a couple things. I'm blind as a buzzard. Like I, if I take my glasses off, I can't even see my eyeballs on the screen and I am about two feet away from it right now and I'm sweating. So that doesn't help any. Um, but so what I did is I pulled up a little bit at a time and then I took this little hoo-ha, go around and, and, and remove the extra hair and stuff like that. So I think I did a, a fairly good job. I don't know if I can see on this other side or not. Looks like I did pretty good. But 
So I'll tell you, like I said, no one on Facebook or YouTube, they have they don't have glasses. So I not only have glasses, but there's trifocals in here. So if you wear trifocals, you can see at different lengths depending on where your glasses are. So that was a bit challenging. And then I'll tell you, I couldn't see a lot. So get your extra mirrors. Like I said, I've got this mirror going here, I've got that and all that other kind of thing. But I just want to show you, this is my game plan. So my game plan is to figure out whatever this length is in the back, this right here and then just shave all the way up and I'm hoping I might even pull um, a little bit of sideburn down right here and kind of pin that so that maybe I can do something kind of fun with it I don't know maybe I'll look cool maybe I won't so the next step is to pull out the sideburns I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back so I'm finishing up making my last little sideburn I'll just tell you that when I have been shaving the back part of my hair back underneath here, I've done that myself or I have Kelly do it, um, the tighter you pull your hair, the less mistakes you're gonna make, especially if you're shaving all the way down to the skin like I have been in the past. Um, I'll tell you though, the other problem is that when you go to get kind of close to your ears over here, see how it's right there above my ears? If you're wearing glasses and you can't see, like me, you just make mistakes and you just deal with it. So I'm thinking that whenever I go to cut this, I'm not going to go, even though I like to, I'm not going to go all the way to skin. We're just going to see what happens. I mean, what's the worst thing? It's hair, right? It'll grow back. So I just had another thought. I was going to just go and shave it because I thought that would feel really, really, really rad. But I think that I may not do that. I think because look, look how long this is. Like that's long. Like my Garfield, I've had this since I was like in first grade. Anyone else have a ruler really, really like this? So I don't know if I can donate it or not, but maybe what I'll do is cut it off in sections and then buzz it and, and, and do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that first. Hold on, stand by. Okay, so I have my hair sectioned off minus my little sideburns right here that these are just for the purpose so that I can maybe put something to go right here. Um, I made five little sections and that way if my hair is long enough and I can donate it and I decide to do that, I can. So that's, and it'll, it'll just make it easier for shaving. I mean, for the thematic or what do you call it? Cinematic effect or whatever. It probably would have been more fun to just, you know, and like buzz all that hair off. But honestly, I'd like to be able to donate it if I can. I haven't done that, even though I've said I was going to because I forget to do it. But at least it's there and it'll make the cleanup easier and stuff like that. So I'm just going to cut right to the inside of that. And then I also went ahead and picked out, I'm going to just use the biggest guard that I have. Um and come up from where I've already shaved my neck and just do that and just hope for the best. It's hair, it's gonna grow back. Just watching. Okay, so I don't know if I can look here. See, here's the deal. When you're wearing trifocals, you can't see very well. So it just might be easier if I go like this. All right, are you ready? Don't be afraid. It's gonna be okay. One, two, three, go. And it's done. I now have short hair, can't go back. See what happens. There's one. Yes, I had to talk to my husband about this ahead of time, by the way. He likes long hair. He prefers long hair. But he knows how miserable I've been. There's two. See how much easier that is? And then all this hair won't go everywhere. Okay. Here's the third one. It was really hard to look in the thing. Here we go. I'll do it this way. Ready? And goodbye. Oh, I missed. Okay, three. Y'all, my hair used to be so blonde when I was growing up. I was a toehead, not anymore. Okay, here's number four. Y'all, I cannot even begin to tell you how much better this already feels. I just don't want to deal with hair anymore. I don't know, like maybe there's other menopausal out there, women, but I just can't, I cannot handle it at all anymore. <gasps> feels really good. Maybe you can hear a tub of that going on in the background. Okay. So here's the part. Oh, I just cannot even begin. Like y'all, I'm serious. If something ever happened to me and someone was like, you know, you have to cut all your hair off because you know, you're going to have chemo or something like that. Like I'm not dogging anyone that has had that. Don't hear that. I'm just saying me personally, I would just shave it. I'm just get it gone. But like, this is going to be cute. The last time I had my hair cut this short, I was like 250 pounds. Yes, I was. So it's like 100 pounds heavier than I am now. All right, so now I'm going to take my clippers and they're really old. They really need to be 
so that you can not make terrible sounds. And I'm just gonna shave my head. Hopefully you can see. Because there's such a guard on them and I'm not going skin, I don't have to worry about it at the top as much. Oh, it's feels so much better. I still might need help. So here's where it is behind my ears and I can't get it with my glasses on. So here's the tricky part. I can't see. Oh, I hate that feeling. Oh, I don't know how boys do this all the time. I don't like that sensation. That just feels so good to get that hair off. Like I cannot even, it's a terrible sound. We've had these for a long time. I think we have another pair. I just don't know where they're at. So this again is the hardest part because I can't see, like I literally can't see. Um, it's got my glasses on. So I'm kind of going by assumptions that I'm trimming the right parts. We'll see. Ugh, hair going down my shirt. It feels kind of gross. I think I made my little thing too long, too thick on one side. Oh, hold on. Crooked. Okay, glasses. Let's see. Well. See, it just gets tricky because you got to be able to get to that hair. Y'all, I'm not going to be sweating my butt off like I was. You can see where there's kind of a line because I had it in the ponytail. Oh, Lord. Get that hair off my neck. there. I like how it's short over my ears. Kind of makes me feel kind of feisty. My personality. All right, I see a long spot right here. I'm going off on my phone. Well, clippers sound atrocious, y'all. Look how much fun that is. Like, girls can have pretty necks. It's a true thing. Okay. Ugh, I don't like hair on me. So, 
now that the bulk of that is off, I mean, you can see, like, I don't look like a total boy. I haven't figured out, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these just yet. Maybe what I'm just gonna do is take them off, cut them right below, let's see. I just want a little bit of sideburn, but I don't really know how to do that. I think I have too much on this side. I think that's one of the problems. I'm gonna have to fix that. Let's see. These little things are little jerks. I can get that off there without cutting all that hair. Just that. Can't pull it off. Oh, there we go. Let's try this again. That's too much hair. Oh, that's better. See? So just, then you're not paying somebody. It's so much better. So much better. I like it to not have to pay for people for things. So I think I'm going to cut my sideburns about this length here in a second, but I got to fix this first. All right. Glasses again. Hairs are belling, probably because I wear glasses. I can't see. That would need some help. Okay. Oh, that's loud in my ear. I don't like that sound. All right. So, until I know exactly what I want to do with these, I'm just going to cut them off. Uh, I can always go back. So, cut them there. Just throw them on the floor. All right. So, and still have a little bit of girliness and I don't even know that I need that much. See, I didn't need that much. I needed less. So just that. I just want a little bit of burns. Like that. So if I wear it up. Ah, no? Y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe it's that much. Now that is touching my ear way too much. See how it's touching my ear on this side, but it's not on the other side. It's gonna be fine. See all these crazy hairs. My neck will have to be cleaned up. So, thing is, when you're cutting your hair, you know you can't you can't glue it back. So, which I know is like a no duh, but I just don't know how to do the sideburn thing. So I'm just gonna wait and figure that out here in a second. I'm gonna leave that at the moment. Okay. Um, now I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with the top. So do I want to leave like this mass and that way it looks like, you know, I can just pull it up or and I can still have some long hair and that would make my husband happy and I have these little, you know, girly bobs on the side or, or whatever, you know, like this and then it kind of tucks in. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. 
I just know that that hair is gone in the back and I am praising Jesus for it. So let's look and see what I've got up top. Kind of a janky job putting my hair up in a ponytail. So it's, ah, why? Y'all, I don't know what I did. I've been putting ponytails in my hair a long time and I just totally, there we go. Okay, so if I left it like this, I could still have this long hair on top and no one would even know. I mean, like you can't even tell. Look. See? I mean, you'd have to like really part it. My hair is so thick. That's how thick my hair is. And that would still make my husband happy. But I don't really want to leave that much hair. So then the other thing that I do is I pull it up. And I would have like these funky kind of shaved sides. If I did that. So I don't think I want to do that. So what I'm thinking is I really would either have to pull my hair up and wear it in like a ponytail, slick my sides back, or in a bun on the top, like I had it a second ago, you know? And then you don't really know, or cut it. I'm leaning toward cutting it. So, I don't know how much I wanna cut. I'm thinking about that much. I mean, leave myself enough to where I could do something like put it in a ponytail. I could give myself this like poof on top and then slick back the sides and no one would even know. Like that's kind of what I'm, you know, thinking. But as I said a second ago, can't go back. Once you cut it, you cut it. So I think what I'll do is I'll cut it about right here. And then see what I like about it or don't like about it. And I mean, worst case scenario, it's just gonna go like in ponytail, you know? So, I'm gonna go ahead and double. But I still have options. Y'all, Hope has options. Ultimately, I'd like it to be a lot shorter. So, ready? Squat down. I'll look this way. Bye 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 hair. Oh, I cut it on the wrong side. Oops. It's fine. Fun, fun. I did it on the wrong side of the ponytail. I don't know why I did that. Okay. I'll put it back together. See, I could wear my hair like this, and it'd be really cool. I mean, if you wear your hair in a ponytail every single day, and you basically never wear it down because it's too hot and you're menopausal and you can't handle it, why? Why have long hair? I don't see a reason for it. Okay. So. That's what it looks like by just taking it and um, cutting that off. And that's actually kind of fun. <laughs> I kind of like that it's a mess be completely honest and see now that I have the sideburns it kind of blends in um look at that maybe I won't do anything with it <laughs> who knows but kind of frames my face a little bit and so there's lots of stuff that I can do with it I don't know if you can see the back let's see and that's literally from taking the ponytail and just and I didn't pay anything for it and I've gotten worse haircuts than this. So that's kind of fun. So what I like about this is I could take my hair, if I just left it just like this, and I could like pull this up, oops, and I could give myself a little poof on the top. I could, because I do that a lot grab all of my side and pull it all the way up. I just haven't decided what I want to do with these little sideburn things. I think that I need to leave less. 
but I could put that basically in a ponytail of sorts and it's still pulled up out of the way and it's not touching me. I could wear it down. You know, I mean, it has body. I could take it and I could give myself a little like a side little hoo-ha, whatever. So I might just leave it like this. This would give me some time to get used to it and decide whether I like it or not. Um, you know, I could do something what I would love to do is get some stuff and give myself a on the top and then slick these sides back like this is kind of what I would like to do. So stand by. All right. I was looking for held hair glue, but I couldn't find any. The last thing I'm doing is I'm just, I don't even know how to texture my hair, but my hair is still thick. So I'm just trying to make it where maybe the ends aren't so blunt. So we'll see. But so far, pretty excited. Hope that my husband likes it. Thank you all. He's he likes for me to be comfortable. He's a pretty cool dude. We've been married for 21 and a half years. Kelly and I have known each other since we were in first grade. Known each other a long time. We're very supportive of each other. Remember, I'm not a beautician. I'm not going for perfection. <laughs> Maybe the funkier it is, the better it's going to be. <laughs> and remember, I just pulled that up in a ponytail and then cut that length off. Just kind of like, whatever. It's the worst that can happen. I initially wanted it shorter than this. I kind of wanted a pixie cut, but I think that um, the wise thing would be to give myself and my husband some time to adjust. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just giving him some time. It's kind of an undercut on the bottom. Do the bones? There. Not very good practice at looking in the mirror and cutting. I would turn off the alarms. <laughs> Sorry. This is going to be a much cooler summer. Praise the Lord. Uh, one of my biggest concerns was that my son is getting married June the 4th and we're graduating from LCU. It's the second weekend of June and I just don't want to look stupid. I don't want to look like a boy, you know, with a cap and gown on or whatever. <laughs> But at this point, like I said, I'm just hot all the time. So I've got to figure out a way to stay cool and not burn up. Okay, so I'd really like my neck to be touched up, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not. Let me see. Ugh, hair. Hold on. different thing. 
thing. Let's see. Let's try it. so thing to be shaving your own neck. I'm not very good at it. Let's see this way. My hands don't work backwards. I don't know how people do that. My husband does a pretty good job. His when he's shaving his neck, but I'm not very good at it. But you know what? These little hairs down here are going to grow back. I can get him to fix it for me later. It'll be fine. Just gets the really bad parts out. See how cute that is? Let me see. Let me turn around. Can you see? Not too bad for uh, just uh, taking my hair and putting it up in a ponytail and dropping it down, huh? This is going to keep me a lot cooler. Now I just got to figure out a way to make it look girly so that my husband doesn't feel like he's married to a man so like I said I wear my hair up in a ponytail all the time anyway so at the very least I don't know where the ponytail holders went you know I can just throw this hair up here <laughs> that is so me that is you know me I'd wear my hair like this I for shoes of wood I mean, come on, it just feels so good. And what is different than this, than having a longer ponytail with it up all the time? There's nothing. Okay, so there's that. And then there's, you know, just having something like this and letting it fall and tuck it behind my ears. But what I'm hoping to do is give myself some kind of like pompadour thing. We'll see. And then eventually cut it like a pixie cut. I don't know. I don't use goop in my hair a whole lot, so to try to even figure it out might be a act of Congress but to give it body. Maybe I can get it to poof up, you know? See, I mean, like, I haven't even done anything. I haven't washed it or anything like that. So that's just, I need to go get some hair glue too. It's funny is, it's kind of the same haircut that I used to cut Brendan's hair. <laughs> My oldest son. Oh, I could wear it back, slicked back and have like a sexy look, I guess. But I'm guessing if I used a blow dryer and I got some glue, I would be able to give myself some body. See? And this is why I kept the sideburns, because then it gives me a little bit more of a girly look. But there we go. That's it. Ta-da! And I feel a million bucks better. Whoop whoop! Cut your hair. Don't let menopause win. <laughs>